Some areas of English cricket were reluctant that he should ever play for the English national team. I mean, he wasn't born in England, obviously. He, he, he became an English cricketer because he played the English county system. This made him eligible. As, I mean, there, there, there were no strict rules um, in terms of who is eligible for a test team. That, that, in fact, those rules were introduced about 10 years later and it was agreed that you had to have either been born in a particular country or you'd lived there for, I think, four years, something like that. And Ranji would have qualified under that sort of second basis in living in England for more than four years. So, um, but at the time he was a you know he he presented a challenge to the English authorities, which they'd not really faced before. There, there, are, there are some stories of um, when he, when Ranji got his hundred for England at Old Trafford that summer um, that there were people at Lords who criticised him even being allowed. They, they still weren't happy, even though he scored a hundred for England. They were not happy that he played. And it was because of his colour. It's often a, it's often about class as much as anything. Some classes would accept him better than others. Some people of a certain background would accept him better than others. I think he did. I think he did experience racism, and he dealt with it pretty well. Really, he navigated his way through the British social system, didn't he? Pretty well, and ended up near, somewhere near the top. You know, by the, by the time Edward the Seventh was on the throne, Ranji was going shooting with him. You know, so he didn't it didn't, it didn't stop him mixing with the with the with the top brass in the country. That's for sure.